Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aloha Maui. It is your girl, Saber First Lady Chavez, and I am honored and blessed to have our brother Capri Bibbs here for Hope for Maui. As a part of our continued benefit concert series, as you know, we started the series about two weeks ago, as well as delivering our daily newscast to you right there from Maui for the people, for the land, um, in hopes to continue our benefit series and um, all that we're doing here and the efforts that we have going on for Hope for Maui. Dot org. Every donation counts. Um, welcome, Capri. Aloha. And thank you for Aloha, joining Maui. us. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for having me in, in Aloha Maui. Like I once said before, uh, I'm extremely blessed to be here. And I'm happy to be here. So, Thank you. And Capri, tell us a little bit about yourself, um, you know, uh, about who you are and um, what has now led you to where you currently are as an artist. Um, tell us a little bit about your background, for those who don't know about Capri Uh Well, me particularly, um, I come from, you know, humble beginnings, uh, as most will say. And um, I live in a three bedroom house with uh, over like 23 kids in it. Uh, we live in, in a crazy way. So, you know, uh, living off the lease was always something that uh i was accustomed to just by environmental type things and you know seeing everything that's going on around the world and especially in maui is one of the things that definitely moves me out um, i try my best with my nonprofit foundation here in chicago and doing other things like that um my nonprofit personally uh goes towards people who may not be able to provide things for themselves uh, them certain type of lectures, like even playing sports or if your kid is very smart and want to do a science program. Um, and we've just been trying to do our best to help and, you know, and give back the best we possibly can on this end. That's amazing. And what is the name of your foundation, Capri, for those who don't know? Uh, keep, letting, keep letting them leave. Yes. Keep letting them live. I love that. Believe. So, believe. I, believe. Sorry. Believe. Keep letting, keep letting them believe. Them believe. Okay. Yeah. Keep letting them believe. I love that. And that's an amazing truth. And, and, you know, a lot of the storytelling that we're happening. So I just want to bring you up kind of to speed to where we are today. You know, the, the biggest part about Hope for Maui is it's under the Hope Foundation. And it's so funny that you mentioned Chicago being home because Hope is um, a foundation that's based out of Illinois. And it's focused on humans on planet Earth and housing our people everywhere. And so the Hope for Maui campaign is really based around, um, you know, obviously our rescue, recovery, and relief um, but from start day one. So the first 10 days are search and rescue. We're now in day 15 there on Maui, getting the people everything that they might need, the resources, portable water, homes, um, you know, all the food, everything that they need to recover for the next five years. So this is definitely a development plan, plan that we're in phase one of um, with the organization of this. And that's why this benefit is so very important. We still have thousands of lives that are missing. Um, this is as we know it, the most historic fire in our history of our planet. Um, and so they are still, uh, you know, on a long road to recovery. We have about 40 days right now um, before the hotels uh, will have to relocate those people. And so that's why it's so important that everybody donates and, and takes a moment moment to check out hopeformaui.org um, because these dollars are doing just that. They're bringing the relief that people need there on the ground. It's been the people helping the people, working with the people to save the land and to restore some sort of um, relief, but also to make it a better place, right, as a whole. Um, and so we're really grateful to have you. And tell us a little bit about what it's been being a Super Bowl winner, being an NFL player, um, when that switch happened for you in your life and the importance of giving back on, you know, as, as part of who you are, um, what you have seen by you giving back, what has, has it resulted to, I guess, what do you see on the other side of when you give back, how does that affect the children and the people that you give back to? 
put it. Um, well, personally, my belief of giving back stems from my childhood uh, and the promises that I actually made to God. And I knew that if God blessed me with the opportunity to play in the NFL and do those type of things, that I would give back to my family solely and to people around me that was in need that came up like just like I did. Um, I've also seen multiple things throughout my family. Uh, my mom, you know, took us from that, that three bedroom with everything like that to we eventually moved out. I've seen the progression. I've seen different things in life. I've seen people struggle at the highest level. I've seen people struggle at the lowest level. So I always just believe in giving back, even if somebody needs me for some time or anything like that, but especially for camps, anything like I I feel like that's my direct blessing from God that's what I have to do is to give back everything that God has given me the talents that God has given me like my job is to give all everything that I have back into the community back into seeing people grow around me so yeah. well, thank you Capri we really appreciate your heart and um I know that the people and the young youth that you that get the opportunity to work with you and, and meet you, that you, you're you definitely impacting their lives in a positive way. And we thank you for that. And that's really what this work is, right? Um, and, and look at the keyword hope over all of this, right? And so I just wanna bring a, a couple facts because people might be tuning in this morning and didn't hear this morning's broadcast, but you know, We've had about, um, and these are all from credible sources. So over the weekend, um, we have about 178 bodies that um, came up on Lina, a neighboring beach. Um, the school started, um, and these are deceased bodies, and we know that there's still many that are going to come and wash ashore as, as time goes on in these next couple weeks. Um, but school started, and school started for a lot of us, for a lot of our children. They're going back to school. In Lahaina, uh, the city of Lahaina normally has about 3,500 students registered. Um, and as of last week, we have 200 students that are registered for homeschool. Um, the numbers are showing 300 that are in um, neighboring districts. But that still is an outstanding number of 3,000 students that are still missing, as well as souls and families that are still um, finding they are missing loved ones in the interim. So it is a very fresh, um, real fact, and it's very raw. A lot of the information and stories that are covered here on Hope for Maui um, go into deeper conversations with the people, what they're experiencing, what they might need, and how we can help them get those resources. So you just giving a little bit of your time today means so much to Maui and the world as a whole. Um, and this plan we look at to be the sustainable plan for relief, recovery, and, and rehabilitation um, for now and into the future um, in any disaster relief situation. So really grateful to have you here for our benefit concert series as well. And I know you want to share your brand new um, single coming off of your soon to drop project. And I'm so excited that you decided to join us today with that. So um, if you want to take a moment, we're ready when you are, if you want to fire up that single um, and we can bring it to the people live right now. And thanks for being here again, Capri. No, thank you. Like I said, once again, thanks for having me. Um, I do want to take a moment um, just for Maui and everything that they're going through. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of things, you know, go unsaid and untold in our country and a lot of information isn't given to us the way we need to properly receive it and you know the same way other things are shoved in our face we don't get those type of things shoved in our face um so i definitely like i said i want to take a moment for maui uh, before i fire up my signal for you guys I appreciate you. Praise up for Maui. Hope for Maui. Make sure you guys go and donate. Make sure you guys go and you know, click that link and donate to uh, Maui. I do have something special for you guys today. Um, this is actually from my project called Seven Days, Seven Nights uh, that will be coming out in the fall. 
Um, I'm super excited about this one. I have a bunch of different producers working on this on this project. Um, mainly my, my friend Judah is one of the ones that really helped and inspired me to make these songs. Um, but this one right here is called... Uh, it's called uh, Phased, and I'm excited about this one, and I'm actually trying to pull it up right here for you guys. Um, right. We're loading up. make sure that you guys take a moment to go donate at hopeformaui.org mahalo right. and aloha from the people of maui yeah, all right the three all right. appreciate it i will be doing my half um of trying to help and benefit i mean donate you know to the cause so and i'm excited uh for all you guys to reach out and do the same so many blessings thank you mahalo capri bib thank you for spending some time with us here at hope for maui today we appreciate you and we will continue to keep you in our prayers um and thank you for your time have a blessed day. Absolutely. You guys have a beautiful and blessed day too as well. Okay. Bye-bye.